Hey everybody, welcome back to the final episode of the story mode of this game. Remember after we do this whole last thing here, now that we're done Hero and Dark, I'm going to be going on to getting every single emblem to do the secret stage as well as doing a bunch of the Chow Garden. I'll be streaming those over on Hitbox TV and uploading them here on YouTube. You can go ahead and follow my Hitbox page if you want to, link in the description ahead of time. But uh, it's time to do the canonical ending. What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait! Someone is coming! You... You haven't given up yet? No, it's all over for us. What do you mean? I've just received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. this stop it right now or else I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance what do you mean you're pretty persistent for a hedgehog aren't you you're still alive <laughs> just huh? letting knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be what is this this is my grandfather's diary I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The colony, the colony was completely was shut down, down, probably to probably keep the prototype, keep the prototype from prototype falling into the wrong from hands. Into the wrong hands. The art was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the art was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way. I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all left. Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind. 
to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him. If you wish, release and awaken it if to the world. If you wish to fill the world with destruction, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. Of course, the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the energy of the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather predicted. That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony are may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm, that's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the master emerald has the power to stop the chaos emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the chaos emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emeralds is moving toward the cannon core! It may be too late! There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Okay, so I know of a pretty cool plot point that I think was dropped. Let me just pause before I forget it, because that cutscene was like seven minutes long. Well, it did that freeze thing while I was uh, explaining things, so I'll just explain it again. <laughs> so in the background of Gerald's cell during that whole video thing, you'll notice how uh, there's writing all over the walls. Well, if you rewind back to... Metal Harbor, I think it was, when Sonic met up with Amy. He was in a cell that was covered in writing, and Amy has a throwaway line of like, oh, what's with all this writing? I think that was a plot point that was originally in the game that for whatever reason they didn't continue with, that the cell Sonic was in was also the cell that Gerald was in. I don't know how that was going to play into the plot, but you can see the hints of it there. Alright, so now we're in the character rush mode. So basically what we do is just go through a bunch of mini stages with each character. So yeah, part of the gimmick of this, oh god, is uh, there are a whole lot of little time freezing capsules in everyone's version of this stage. So, you don't really need to go around and pick up all the hidden, non-mandatory things to be able to pull this off, like the upgrades. Except, I highly recommend you have Knuckles, uh... Where am I going? Go? I highly recommend you have Knuckles one of them. Oh god. You know, the Knuckles, uh, rebreather thing lets him breathe underwater. Yeah, because his stage is very water-based. I hate these things. You pretty much need to use your punch thing on it. Because they just keep their head covered until you're up close. Alright. Tails' final part is right up ahead. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, come on! You just tap a wall, and all of a sudden you just plummet. Okay, here we go. That. Ah, jeez. Alright, so all we have to do is break this thing down. And... Okay, yeah, you break it. You don't even need to walk through it. Now we play the second shooting section. I believe after this is the treasure hunting character section. Apparently stuff was behind me. And then I think you use uh, Sonic? I don't even remember if Shadow has a section. 
I do remember the treasure hunting sections being the worst, though. With Knuckles being the absolute worst! <laughs> Come on! I hate these things! They just get free shots on you, they're so hard to deal with. Oh. Okay, I'm supposed to go down good. Fuck, how am I supposed to kill them? This is ridiculous. Okay, they can't get hurt until they're aiming, got it. I hate those things. Oh god, this room. Uh... Oh god! Oh god! Oh man, I salvaged that one. Am I shooting a thing? No? Okay, I thought that was a shooty door first. Okay, I'm just hitting as many freeze things as I can because it just keeps things stable at least. Huh! Come on, game! Oh God, I do not... I don't want to deal with these things. Oh God. Ah. Just float on over. Oh God. Come on. Ah. I hate these things. Oh, come on. Oh my God. I lucked my way through it. Come on. God, I have low enough health that one hit will kill me. How do I... Ah! Jesus. How do I deal with this? Oh god, I almost fell. Okay, unfreeze. Okay. That's all I have to do? Oh my god, that was nerve-wracking. I thought I was gonna die. Ugh. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, the big strategy here is just you climb these things. I think Rouge's is pretty fast. But they're kind of swimming based with Knuckles being the worst for that. It's really obnoxious. Fire on that. I think this stops a waterfall. Uh, yeah, let's me go through that waterfall down there. Ah! Oh, right. I gotta freeze that thing. Ooh, just barely squeak through there. Alright, I think I'm looking for a switch. Let's just destroy all of those. Oh. <laughs> that was probably to destroy those. Okay. When it whenever it lets us. Oh. Well, gotta wait for this. We gotta get back to the main chamber, so yeah, Rouge is not so bad. Knuckles- oh, come on! What was that game? It just didn't stick me to the wall. Alright. Oh, god, I'm not allowed back through unless I freeze the place again. That's really annoying. Especially considering it's not my fault it didn't work last time. Oh, god. Okay, is there another freeze point in this room? Because I don't know how I can do it faster. Oh, there's a spring there I'm supposed to hit, or a bumper, rather. God. Oh, God, these camera angles are just terrible. Okay, we're flooding the place. Very slowly.
Okay, so to do this one, we need to actually go underwater and find the other switch. There are some air bubbles down here you'll see every once in a while, but we have the unlimited air upgrade from Aquatic Mine. This is why I say it's pretty much required. Like, look at this place. Do you really want to do this? Without- ah, fuck. Without the unlimited air thing? God, I cannot even get words out. I'm illiterate. Uh... Did I not even need to go this way? Oh! There is where I have to go. Wow! That's... Annoying, and definitely not the first thing you're gonna see. <laughs> really? How am I supposed to get there faster? <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, come on. Does that not even turn it off? Is that not what you're supposed to do? Because the that's how you turned off the laser in the previous maps. Kill you. I can't go through there because the laser is on. I need a freeze thing to go through there. Am I supposed to... Turn that off and then go to the surface. God, God, no! Oh. That is the least intuitive thing in the world. I am pissed! Oh my God! Why would this blinking laser thing not get turned off when every other blinking laser thing gets turned off by those switches? The fuck were they thinking? game. Oh my god, I was still controlling there. Gotta hit a time manipulation thing. Where's the one in this room? Surely there must be one in this room, right? Okay, well, that makes things easier. Uh, oh, there it is. I don't like that spot. Please just make it. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Please! Oh god, I don't want to do this again! Oh god, and then lasers just appear in your face. Thank you. I can't see anything with this camera. Ooh, I hate this map. Okay. Just nudge it. Just, just nudge it. Okay. Uh, oh. I thought I was supposed to hide behind the crates to get myself stuck down there so I could walk towards it. it turns out it's just an obstacle. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank God. I don't need to go back up there, right? Hands down, worst one of these maps. Okay, we've got the Sonic section now. Okay, this is the last section of the big rush before we go into bosses. I don't think this one's long. Uh... Where was I supposed to go? The camera wasn't pointing at anything. I thought I was supposed to fall down. Fucking hell, this game. Okay, you. Yeah, yeah, thanks so much, Chow. Good God. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Over here? Ah, oh, god, I got stuck in the wall. Oh, do I kill him and go back? 
God, d Jesus, this camera. Is it opening or? No. Oh, it. I hate this. Oh, God, this game gets so bad. The camera. The camera is the most dangerous part of this video game. Just, just go through. Fuck, what was that, game? Just made, made me auto fall. Oh god, I just want this over and done with so badly. I vowed to 100% this game and I'm regretting it. I forgot why I never 100 percent of this as a kid. Now I'm remembering. Let me just I have to jump at the end of this, don't I? I'd be shocked if I don't. Ooh, this makes my head hurt. No danger here, by the way. Okay. <laughs> that was really fast, actually. If I had known about the death pit, then uh, that would have been really easy. Barely made it. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> oh, I hate it when they leave me behind. Look, it's Shadow. I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow, we need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things, some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow, I beg of you, please do it for me. Gotta go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria. And you. So lame. What's that? It looks just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Why is the prototype so drastically different from the finished product? Okay, 
I remember having a hard time with this boss battle, but since becoming an adult and watching uh, games done quick, I actually know a trick to beat it really fast. If I can pull it off, though, is a different story. Ow. Okay, let's see if I can actually pull off the trick. I just need a ring. I need to get near its tail. Ah! Ah, uh, there's a trick you can do where if you get at the right angle... Right, all you have to do is hit the thing on top of it, but if you get the right angle at its tail, you can, uh... You can actually, uh... Ah! Damn, I'm not good enough to do it. If you get the right angle at its tail, you can, uh... You can hover... What, what am I trying to say? Ah, fuck. I hate this boss battle. I'm really bad at it. I- I can't see shit. Oh, right, you can't roll those ones. Um... If you're really good, you can homing attack up its tail and get all but the last two hits on it that way. You're not supposed to be able to do that, mind you, but you can. I don't know, like, how you guarantee- it's like right up there? Ah, I almost got it too, did you see that? I was like climbing it? I don't want to do it if I don't have a safety ring though. It's just, it's a long boss battle, and you can just get fucked over by bad luck at the very end, which is why I want to do it that cheesy way. To make sure that I'm not killed by poor luck. Come on! Ugh, I didn't climb it. It killed me. God. I just can't get the right angle, and I'm not entirely sure how to do it, but I want to. Because it's so much better than playing it normally. I don't think I'm getting enough height. I don't have, like, a turbo controller or anything to do that. Oh, I hate this fucking boss, though. Just because the very end of it, it just cheats. Like, you can just lose by bad luck. Where it just spawns, uh, you float up and down with almost no control, and it spawns a bunch of orbs that hurt you in really bad locations. Uh, come on, really? Those two just back to back? Oh, it's gonna keep shooting. Uh, just thank you. It's a really long awful boss fight. Uh, uh, come on, really? Thank you. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, I hate this fucking boss. And I refuse to stop complaining about it, by the way, because it is a terrible, boring, long boss fight. It's not even the final boss, like... And the next boss fight is much more fun. You done? Thank you. Ah, uh, come on. Thank you. Whoa, whoa. God, I, I just wish I was better at that trick. I could get this boss battle done in a minute flat if I was good at that trick. So you might be wondering, like, why I'm rolling on the high ones. Whether it touches you or not, if you're rolling uh, when the high ones come, it just auto-misses. Okay, this bullshit. Uh... Ugh, right, this is not even the worst of it yet. It's just randomly shooting it. You just got a homing attack your way up, but your homing attack is horrible! Look at this! I, I, I just die. I just die! The homing attack 
will not target where you want to go, like, just fucking 90% of the time. I fucking hate this boss battle because the homing attack is bad, and it's long. It is a long, boring fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I almost got it. Did you see how high up I got? I, I died. Oh, come on. I'm gonna start fast forwarding it if it gets that- if it gets bad enough. Yeah, use the somersault or jump to avoid the energy attack. I gotta learn this trick, seriously. I- I think I flubbed it there. Ugh, I- I just wasn't going fast enough. Come on. I've been dreading recording this episode. Genuinely, this boss fight and just remembering how frustrating it was because of the poor controls is what made me hold off for so long on Let's Playing this. Because every time I thought, maybe I'll Let's Play that game, I immediately think, oh god, but Bio Lizard was an awful fight. The game's really lenient when it comes to somersaulting under those. Uh, <sighs> game. The homing attack is the worst mechanic ever put in a Sonic game. I can confidently say that because ever since they put it in Sonic games, they just started relying on, oh, we'll just make it so you require the homing attack for all these different things. But the homing attack is so unreliable and poorly implemented, it barely fucking works. Oh god. Alright, are you coming at me head first or tail? Head? Okay. I'm worried about accidentally grabbing too many rings. Just because I want to save it for if I, uh, lose my ring in a spot that it's not easy to get back. So I don't want to get more than one right now. God, these ones are fast. I think he's gonna do his stupid bullshit homing attack thing. I hate this. He's only at half health. He does this multiple times. Why did it not target? And it's shooting things at me too, so I gotta like... Okay, that, 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 there. I gotta hit it two more times though. It's so finicky, like the range on the homing attack changes all the time. Ah, God. When it turns around like that, you got a fucking bolt just homing attack in the other direction because he's gonna hit you. I like when he keeps going high. Those ones are easier. Alright, just do your dumb thing. <laughs> you gotta be so... Careful! Oh my god. Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack there. So, okay, this one is where it can just fuck you. So you have no control, and if you get hit twice, you die, and there's no chance of getting your rings back, and it's floating around like this. And you move very slowly, and he's trying to homing attack you. I got him. Okay. That didn't look bad. I've had much worse patterns before. Oh god, my blood pressure is rising. We're like 40 minutes into this episode. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. Only you can do this. Stop the Chaos Emerald!
Is it gone? Is that what chaos control is? Since we've stopped the Chaos Emeralds, why is the space colony still on a crash course to Earth? That fucking look. God. All right, it's time for the only good song Crush 40 has ever made, Live and Learn. <laughs> Hope I don't get ID claimed. All right, so this is the weird final boss battle. You swap between Shadow and Sonic, and Headbutt is Pimples. Don't run out of rings or you die. Getting hit or taking too long makes you run out of rings. The controls are still not great, but it's not a very hard fight. It's just kind of a cool final boss. I like it. Mostly because of the music. Oh, oh god. It's really hard to predict where that thing's coming at you. Alright, half health. I don't think there's actually a time limit if you're curious. There we go. So yeah, it's just B to go down, A to go up, pretty simple thing. If you hold down A, you go real fast up, that's what I do at the end. Got a little bit less rings this time though. Ooh. God, these things. Oh god, yeah, and if you get hit, you fly back. And you fly back a lot. So you gotta be really careful near the end. Ah, come on! Those things are homing, that's bullshit. There's really not much you can do about those things, as far as I'm aware. One hit left. Why the bio lizard has pimples, I don't know. Oh, uh, last one's on his neck. There we go. I must destroy all the evil the professor has created. No way that's getting through. Shadow, I beg of you. Maria. Give them a chance to be happy. Now, Shadow! Chaos Control! Maria, this is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you.
Where is Shadow? Do you really think that the professor created him, oh Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a great scientist like him. But... Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is... We all did it together! You're right. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about. It'll all work out. You'll see. If you say so. Created the ultimate life form. What's the matter, Sonic? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. To the planet as cool and blue as me. I hate you. Go fuck yourself, Sonic. <laughs> Why is everyone acting like he was some big hero? It's his fault that the world was almost destroyed in the first place. All he did was clean up his own mess. The moon still got shot. <laughs> that wasn't gonna happen without Shadow showing uh, Robotnik how to use the fucking cannon. <laughs> God. So yeah. Uh, Shadow straight up dies at the end of this game. Uh, he was only brought back in later games because of fan support. He ended up being the most popular character from the game, so the plot of, like, Shadow the Hedgehog is trying to figure out why Shadow's alive again when he died. It's a big existential quandary about, is Shadow actually alive? Is that the original Shadow or a clone of Shadow? Like, oh, it's the goofiest thing. But anyway, I don't want to get ID claimed, so we're just gonna skip ahead. Next episode will be the stream recordings that uh, you can watch of me doing the Chow Garden and trying to collect all 180 um, <laughs> emblems. Think about if you're watching the main part of this playthrough, go ahead and follow me on Hitbox in the description if you want to catch the streams live. And until next time, have a nice day.